Hello. In our series resistance project, we saw that the equivalent resistance of a set of resistors placed in series was simply the sum of the individual resistances. We also pointed out that this fact can make analysis of a circuit which contains series resistors considerably easier. We can replace the series resistors with a single equivalent resistor, conceptually at least, and analyze the simplified circuit. In this video, we'll introduce yet another simplification that we can make if we have series resistors in a circuit. This simplification is called the voltage divider formula. This formula allows us to easily find the voltage across any individual resistor in a series combination if we know the total voltage across the entire series combination of resistors. Before we determine our voltage divider formula, let's quickly review the results of our series resistance project. In that project, we saw that a series combination of resistors has an equivalent resistance, which is simply the sum of the individual resistors. So if we have a pair of resistors in series, as shown here, we can replace those two resistors with a single resistor whose resistance is the sum of the original resistors. Please keep in mind that we're not necessarily changing our physical circuit. We're making a conceptual change which simplifies the analysis of the circuit. We'll analyze the simplified circuit to determine the current through the two series resistors resulting from a voltage difference across the terminals. If we represent the series resistors as an equivalent resistance, Ohm's law tells us that the current through the combination is simply the voltage difference across the combination divided by the equivalent resistance. Now if we substitute the fact that the equivalent resistance is the sum of the individual resistances, we see that the current in our original circuit is the total voltage difference V divided by the sum of the resistances R1 plus R2. Now let's see what we can find out about the individual voltages V1 and V2 across the two resistors in our original circuit. As we saw previously, the current is the total voltage V divided by the sum of the resistances, R1 plus R2. V1, according to Ohm's law, is equal to R1 times the current I. If I substitute this for I, V1 is R1 times V over R1 plus R2. If I rearrange this slightly, the voltage across resistor R1 is the total voltage times R1 over R1 plus R2. So this voltage is the total voltage times this resistance over the total resistance. If I do the same thing for V2, I'll find out that V2 is equal to V times R2 over R1 plus R2. In summary, our voltage divider formula says that the total voltage across a set of series resistors is divided among the individual resistors. So if we have a pair of resistors in which we know the total voltage V, we can very easily determine the voltages across the individual resistors. For example, the voltage V1 is the total voltage times the ratio of the resistance R1 to the total resistance. Another way to say this is that the ratio of any individual voltage to the total voltage is the same as the ratio of that resistance to the total resistance. Finally, before we do some examples on how to apply our voltage divider formula, let's look at the general formula for a voltage divider. Suppose we have n resistors in a series, R1, R2, so on and so forth, up to R sub n. Consistent with our previous voltage divider formula for two resistors, it turns out that the voltage across any individual resistor, say R sub k, which I've defined as V sub k, is simply the total voltage, V sub s, across the series combination, times the ratio of that resistance, R sub k, to the total resistance. For our first example, I want to find the power dissipated by this 2 ohm resistor. If I know the voltage across this resistor, I can determine the power, so the power of the 2 ohm resistor is equal to the voltage squared divided by the resistance, which is just 2 ohms. So if I can find this voltage, I'm in good shape. These two resistors are in series, so I can find this voltage from the total voltage across the combination and our voltage divider formula. So V is the total voltage, 20 volts, times the ratio of this resistance, 2 ohms, to the total resistance, which is the sum of the two, 2 ohms plus 3 ohms. That's 20 over 5, which is 4 times 2 is 8 volts. Putting that in there, I get the power dissipated by the 2 ohm resistor is 8 volts. 
squared over 2 ohms, which is 64 over 2, which is 32 watts. In this example, we want to determine the voltage V1 across the 2 kilo ohm resistor. All of these elements are in series. If I do KCL at any point along here, I find out that they all share the same current. That means in order to find this voltage, I can use my voltage divider equation. My voltage divider says that V1 is the total voltage, which is just 6 volts, times this resistance, 2 kilo ohms, over the sum of the individual resistances, which is 2 kilo ohms plus 6 kilo ohms plus 4 kilo ohms. 2 plus 6 plus 4 is 12, so V1 is 6 volts times 2 kilo ohms over 12 kilo ohms. 2 over 12 is 1 sixth. 1 sixth times 6 is 1 volt. So this is 1 sixth of the total resistance. That means V1 is 1 sixth of the total voltage.